Hello everyone, this is a special tutorial on how to trace a Java program and the sample program is kind of like this which has a class, some variables, some methods and instances created and also when the methods are called what would be the corresponding output of the program. Now this is uh, this is for the course uh, this is for a this is a course material and um, it's done to uh, clear your doubts on how a Java program works and how the how things are outputted in the program, right? So if in the beginning, uh, the first thing that's done is some variables are created. There are two kinds of variables: a static and a non-static variable. A static variable, what it does is the values are never changed and it always the values are the same for all the instances created and for a non-static variable like the sum and the y variable for these uh, for, uh, for each instances the values uh, values are created all like from the beginning but th for this it all always remains the same for each instances now the table for the tracing would look somewhat like this so this is for there are two instances created in this program a1 and a2 for both of them, the tables are the same, and for the static variables, the tables the table is has these two columns, and these two columns have the same, and the I mean both the instances will use the same values from the uh, from the static variables. Uh, the methods are method A, and in method A, three va variables are created, M, N, and X, and for method B, four variables are created, M, N, Y, and temp because it has it's initialized again and uh, the yeah that's about it now let's get on with the tutorial so for when the instance a1 is created at first we put up put up all the values we put up all the values in temp and x and y and sum so that's what uh, that's what we will do here so temp and x is 1 and 3 temp is temp is Right, so temp is 1, x is 3, and sum and y are 1, 1. Right, and also for this, it will be the same, but we will not be changing here because the first instance that's called is a1. So sum and y is 1, 1, temp is 1, and x is 3. So we move on to this, this part of the code, y equals temp minus 1. So temp, the value of temp is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so y equals 0. And sum equals temp plus 1. Temp is 1, 1 plus 1, 2, so sum equals 2. And temp equals temp minus 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So this part is done. Now we move on to the second part of the code, which is the creation of the instance a2. In a2, the parameter that is passed is a1, which is an object. So there are two constructors. One is a default constructor, and one is this constructor, which has a parameter, which has an object parameter passed passed to it. So we'll call this constructor now. In this one, there was no parameter passed to it. That's why in a1 we just use this part, and now we'll use this part. So what it does, what what passing the uh, object means is that a2 will have access to all the values of a1 object so in a1 in the a1 table a2 will have access to the values in a1 table right so sum equals a dot sum the sum for a2 is a dot sum a dot sum is 2 and 2 plus sum here the other sum is the global variable sum so 2 plus 1 is 3 and a dot x is there is no x val variable for these two, so the x that we will be calling is the static variable. So a dot x is a dot x plus sum, so three plus sum. So we'll use the sum of this and this. So uh, x plus uh, three plus x, three plus uh, I mean a dot x is three, so three plus three is six. Right. So this part is done. Now we'll move on to, and the value of y will be 1 because it has, since nothing was executed in that constructor, we'll just be assumed that the value of y is the global variable y equals 1, which is declared in the beginning here. Now we move on to the methods. So with a1.method a and uh, the variables one, uh, m and n's value passed 1 and 1, we'll, uh, we'll execute this part of the code. So x equals 1. Here we'll just be filling this part because it's a1's method a. So x equals uh, x equals one, m is one, n is one. 
and uh, y equals y plus m plus 10 plus plus so y is uh, there's no y in method a so will you be will be using the y <coughs> in a1 so uh, y equals 0 plus 1 plus temp temps value is 0 so 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 so y equals 1 and temp will be incremented so temp is incremented to 1 temp plus plus means we'll use the existing value of temp and in the next step we just increment it and then x equals x plus 1 plus n is x is value is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 so 3 so x equals 3 uh, sum equals sum plus x plus y so sum is 2 plus 1 plus c 3 so it's 6 so now, now we print x y and sum so the printing part is over here so print we print 3 1 6 x y sum right now we execute this part a1 dot method b and the values that are passed is 1 and 2 so here in method b m's value is 1 and uh, <clears throat> uh, n's value is 2 so this is for a1 again so here 1 2 and the value of y is 1 and temp is 1 1 1 right and so now we execute the remaining part of the code so y equals y plus this dot y y is this y and this dot y is the global y every time this whenever this uh, the keyword this is used it means that we will be accessing the global value so the global value of y is 1 so y plus so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus a dot temp a dot temp is this this temp uh, because the normal temp is this and a dot temp is the global uh, global temp so it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it's 4 so y equals 4 then x x equals y plus 1 plus temp minus n so y is this 4 plus 1 plus temp which is 1 minus n is 2 so uh, so the value of uh, what you call x since there is no x variable here will be just incrementing the value here so the value we get is 4 let's just check it y, uh, y is 4 plus uh, sorry yeah y is uh, y equals y equals 1 so y equals 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus plus temp 5 plus 1 is 6 6 minus n is 2 6 minus n equals to 2 so 6 minus 2 is 4 so that's why we, we just put the value 4 now we move on to method a where x and y is passed as m and n the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 4 so here in method a 4 and 4 will be m and n and then and then what we do is x's value is now 1 again right so y equals y plus m plus temp so y the value of y will be changed here so since method a does not have any y of its own so y equals 1 plus 4 plus uh, temp which is 1 so 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so y equals 6 and temp will be incremented to 2 and then x equals x plus 1 plus n x is 1 1 plus 1 plus 4 so 4 5 6 so the value of uh, x is also 6 uh, x, is, x will be changed here so 6 and sum equal to sum plus x plus y sum is 6 plus 6 plus y is 6 so 6 trees are 18 so then we print x, y, and sum. So we print 6, 6, and 18. Then we're done with this part. Now we move on back here. So sum equals to x plus y plus sum. Sum equals uh, the sum for method B. Don't lose track. I know it's easy to lose track. So sum equals x. Value of x we'll, we'll be using is this static, static variable, uh, x. And so 4 plus y is 4 for 2 is 8 8 plus 18 so 18 plus 8 will will give us 26 so 26 
so then uh, the value of x y and sum is 4 4 4 26 so we're done with this part now we move on to the last instance a last method called a2 dot method B where, where 3 and 2 is passed so method B M and N is 3 and 2 now since it's a2 we'll be uh, using this part so 3 and 2 so 3 2 and uh, the y and temps values again 1 1 as you can see 1 1 y equals to this y plus this dot y so now we use y y is this one 1 plus this dot y this dot y is a global y which is which was 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus a dot temp is this this temp so 2 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 plus uh, 2 plus m so 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 so the value of y is the, uh, the value of yeah the value of um, y is 7 so then x x equals y plus 1 plus 10 minus and y is 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus temp is 1 9 9 minus n 9 minus 2 is 7 so x equals 7 so where is x um, there's no x here so we'll be changing the x in the static variable so 7 we're nearly done right so the, uh, now we move on to method a and x and y's value is passed as m and n so x's value is 7 y's value is 7 so m and n is 7 7 and x was 1 which was initialized at the beginning of method a x is 1 so y equals y plus m plus temp y where is y y is here so y equals y plus m so 1 plus 7 plus temp which is 2 1 plus 7 plus 2 so 7 8 9 10 so y is 10 and 10 plus plus so we'll increment this to 3 and x plus 1 plus m so x is here x equals to 1 plus 1 plus 7 so we get 9 then we just increment sum equal to sum plus x plus y so 9 plus 10 plus 3 we get 22 and we just print x y and sum x is 9 10 22 then uh, we move on to method b again sum equals to here in this part in this line sum equals to sum uh, sum equals to x plus y plus sum so x is here in method a b again we're back to method b again x is of course there's no x for method b so we'll be using this so seven um, seven plus y is seven so 14 14 plus sum sum is 22 so 14 plus 22 we get 36 and we are done so we just print x y and sum what do we get x is 7 y is also 7 we're taking from here so y 7 x 7 and the sum is 36 so that's about it so we got the result you could just run this in a Java program uh, sorry for using a really outdated uh, IDE so you just copy paste the code and you just write a main method and in the main method you just paste this part that we executed the four lines and then you'll get the answer so here as you can see in the compiler output you get you see the answer 316 6 is 18 4, 4, 26. we got the same answer as over here